Uh, hello, oh my goodness, how is everyone doing? If you are around, join me. Super psyched to be here with you all and super psyched about sharing this training, mini training with you to how on how to shift from discouragement to a place of miraculous possibilities. So join me and tell me you're there and tell me where you are. So this is one of my favorites because it's something I have definitely been challenged with over the years of my life is, is this tendency sometimes we get into to think negatively and spiral into analysis and go down the hole of doom and gloom and dis discouragement, frustration. And so this is to help you when you start to notice that happening of what you can do to start to shift that right away because what happens if we don't shift it right away is we end up in a much darker place and we often will reach out for your quote unquote drug of choice, well, whether that be shopping or food or alcohol or whatever it might be, because we are feel like we're not equipped to handle it. And so I want to share with you some ways that you feel confident in sharing in, sorry, in whatever is happening for you. Sorry, I'm trying to share this in a way that helps support you in being the highest version of you. So if I can figure this thing out, which I don't think I can, so we'll just move on. Which is not gonna happen. Oh well, okay, cool. So first thing, of course, is an awareness of what's going on. So for example, if you notice you're starting to think a little bit negatively and get a little bit down or discouraged, feeling a little bit frustrated, the first part of this whole path, this whole path of life really that we're on, is to catch it and catch it as soon as possible because often we don't catch it and we are often sort of set in our ways. So when we start to feel a certain way, whether that's maybe a little bit down or discouraged, we almost have trained ourselves to not notice it and then to immediately reach for something to make it go away, whether that's TV, social media, alcohol, food, shopping, you name it. And so often we miss the opportunity to shift it because we're so well trained to not pay attention to it and to go to something that numbs us out basically so that we don't have to feel it because often what we're really avoiding is feeling whatever it is that's causing that frustration or disappointment or discouragement. And we do that, of course, by numbing ourselves out with alcohol, food, shopping, whatever it might be. And so it takes a high level of awareness to catch yourself when you're in it and just to notice a shift in your energy, a shift in your emotions and to pay attention. Okay, so what are the thoughts going on right now? And if you even catch yourself noticing, oh my gosh, I really want some alcohol or a lot, you know, glass of wine or a beer, or I really want some sugar of some sort. I really want to just, just go scroll through Facebook or Instagram, or I want to go watch Netflix. Just catch yourself and ask, and this is the key, is that coming from a place of curiosity versus criticism and coming from a place of, of really desiring to understand. And so... It's asking, you know, what's going on? And then it's it's really, it's having a dialogue. And so this can be a little bit tricky sometimes. It's because if we just are talking from the same place, we're not gonna solve it from a different place. We're gonna solve it from the place of the problem and we wanna be solving it from a place of the solution. And so it's being able to almost think about looking outside of yourself and, so, and this, this objective kind person asking you, what's going on? without judgment, without criticism, and, and simply with the desire to understand what truly is going on. And then to be able to answer and without judgment and just answer, oh my gosh, I can't believe this and this and this happened. And then this person said this, and then my mom said that, and then someone cut me off in traffic and just let yourself spiral down and let it all out without judgment, just as if you were a kid. Kids don't filter. <laughs> and so don't filter, just let it all out and see what starts to change in your energy by simply releasing it instead of suppressing it or numbing yourself out from it. And then that objective observer part of you stay with 
that person and have that person continue to be curious. So what's the story about this? What are you making this mean? And so that's where we really need to get to. And so often it's, well, I'm a loser. I don't have what it takes. I'm not competent. I'm a jerk. Uh, I have anger issues. Whatever self judgments and self criticisms you have, simply letting them out. And again, you're not judging. You're just, this is what you feel is true. And so letting it out. And then asking again from the objective observer, that must be really hard. Well, I'm curious. What are some other possibilities? And then see what shows up. Well, I'm actually really tired and what I really want is this and it's not happening and so I feel really bad and I really want to be able to shift this and I don't really know how and I don't know how to look at this differently and I really need support in looking at this differently. And so you're coming from a very different place. You're coming from a place of curiosity and a desire to learn versus a place of being the victim and everyone's against you and your life sucks and it's terrible and you're just a loser and you might as well just give up. So in that place of doom and gloom and negativity, there's not a lot of opportunity for growth or change or shifting energy. It's more deepening into the darkness versus when we shift into what is another possibility? What might be a different story that, about what is going on with me? And being able to bring it into the light and see, is that really true? And then deciding, okay, is this the story I want to be living or do I want to live a different story? And then consider what is possible when you are operating from heightened states of awareness, heightened energy, and heightened levels of curiosity and appreciation and, and a desire to understand. So then you start to notice even the shift in your energy between that place of doom and gloom and negativity, hi there, and the place of curiosity and a, and a desire to understand. And then from that place, again, you're simply going deeper in a positive way. So, okay, so you are believing this means that you're, you don't have what it takes and everything's a mess. Okay, so the other possibility is perhaps that's a story that you learned as a child and there might be another story for you here. What is available for you if you choose a different story? And then ask from that new place, from that heightened energy and that new awareness, what is the loving action to take in this situation? Because we don't wanna stay in our head we want to start to take action in accordance with that heightened state of awareness and that new level of energy. And then again, stay in connection with yourself and ask, you know, after you take the action, whatever action comes, the, the, our job is just to respond, to just obey. So whatever it might be, even if it sounds crazy and ridiculous, like you need to go take a bath or go for a walk or call this person, we simply respond and take action. And then later, come back and say, you know, reflect on that action. How did that action change my energy? What was the result of that action? And pay attention again with curiosity. And if you notice you're starting to spiral again, just come back out and ask again, you know, there must be some good reasons for you feeling a little bit discouraged and frustrated. And I'd love to know what those are. And then let whatever comes out, come out without judgment. Until you free your energy to be open to something different. And when we're open to something different, that's when we start to create something different. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And I'm super excited to share with you a new way to work with me that I'm super pumped about. It's a four week boot camp. I'm calling it the boot camp for the soul. And the reason I'm calling it a boot camp because it is designed to keep you in the game. It's designed with wraparound support in a variety of different ways with the goal of guiding you back to your own inner knowing, to your right actions, to start to move into a place of confidence and courage with the freedom to express yourself without feeling guilty, without feeling pushy, and to do so with grace and poise so that you are the same person no matter who you're talking to, that no matter who you're talking to, 
and that you feel free to share opinions that aren't popular because that's, and you're able to do so in a way that invites conversation instead of defense or attack. And so this, and then operating, of course, from that place, from that place of being fully you and being confident and, and courageous in expressing who you are, opens yourself up to a whole new and, I mean, completely different world of possibilities. I mean, think about the impact on your relationships. Think about the impact in your work of what's possible for you, of you stepping up and taking on maybe a different position in your in your job or maybe even stepping out and taking on the a business on the side, having deeper levels of connection with your partner, having a whole different relationship with your family members, and really a heightened loving respect for yourself like never before. And that really is the place from which everything in your life will change. Absolutely. So we are kicking off on January 6th. You can register now and it's an incredible incredible opportunity to work with me and to be in a supportive community to really start to make this shift and to have the tools and resources and the guidance as well as access to a supportive community while you're in it in this period of really stepping into the person you desire to be and letting go of the person you used to be. So the investment is only 497, which is an incredible investment for the level of support you will receive and all the resources and tools and guidance. And I can't wait to have you be a part of this. So there is a link in the comments. So you can click on that and I would love to hear. And if you of course have questions about it, you can feel free to PM me. And until next time, I encourage you to operate from a place of curiosity and letting go of criticism. Talk to you soon.